Every child deserves a chance at life. Every baby's cry is a song of hope. Every newborn's hand grasps for love and care. When we hold these tiny humans, we hold the future. How can we, as a society, turn our backs on the most vulnerable among us? How can we allow innocent lives to be extinguished after they've already taken their first breath? This is a question that haunts the conscience of humanity. We must face it head on. We must protect the defenseless. The sanctity of life from conception to natural death is a principle I hold dear. It is a principle that should guide our laws, our actions, and our very hearts. Yet in Queensland, a chilling reality exists. Babies, born alive after attempted abortions, are being left to die. This is not just a tragedy, it is an atrocity. These babies are not statistics. They are sons and daughters. They are grandchildren. They are human beings deserving of our love and protection. We must fight for their right to life. We must demand justice for those who have been silenced. The law should be a shield for the innocent. In Queensland, the law has become a weapon against the most vulnerable. Current legal protections for babies born alive after abortion are tragically inadequate. This legal blind spot has allowed unspeakable acts to occur. Over the last decade, 328 babies in Queensland were born alive following attempted abortions. These babies, capable of breathing, feeling, and experiencing life, were denied the basic right to medical care. The law, meant to protect, has failed them. This is unacceptable. We cannot stand idly by while innocent lives are extinguished. We must demand better from our elected officials. We must close this legal loophole and ensure that every baby born in Queensland is given the chance to live. The heartbreaking truth is often hidden behind hospital doors. But courageous nurses like me have bravely spoken out about the horrors we have witnessed. Our testimonies paint a grim picture of babies left to die, denied the most basic medical care. These nurses, sworn to protect life, are forced to stand by as innocent lives slip away. The emotional toll on these healthcare professionals is immeasurable. We carry the weight of these tragedies, haunted by the cries we couldn't silence and the lives we couldn't save. We must listen to their stories. We must let their courage fuel our fight for justice. These nurses are on the front lines of a silent battle. They deserve our support. They deserve to know that their voices are heard. Life and the pursuit of happiness, a right for all. The right to life is not a privilege. It is an inalienable right endowed by our Creator. Every human being, regardless of their size, stage of development, or the circumstances of their birth, deserves the chance to live a full and meaningful life. To deny a baby born alive after an attempted abortion medical care is to deny their fundamental right to life. It is a violation of the very principles upon which our society is built. We cannot allow this injustice to continue. International conventions, including the Convention on the Rights of the Child, affirm the right to life of every child. These conventions are not mere words on paper. They are solemn promises to protect the most vulnerable among us. We must hold our leaders accountable to these promises. We must demand that they uphold the sanctity of life for all. Justice demands action, prosecute crimes against newborns. Allowing a child to die after a failed abortion is not a matter of opinion, it is a crime. The law is clear, intentionally causing the death of a human being is illegal. This applies to all human beings, born and unborn. Law enforcement has a moral and legal obligation to investigate these cases and prosecute those responsible. Ignoring these deaths is not an option. Turning a blind eye makes us complicit in this tragedy. Justice demands action. Every child born alive deserves the same medical care and legal protection as any other newborn. To do anything less is to abandon our humanity. It is to betray the principles of justice and compassion that should define our society. Stand up for life, our collective responsibility. The fight for life is a fight we must win. We cannot afford to be silent. We cannot afford to be complacent. The lives of innocent children depend on our action. Contact your elected officials. Demand that they support legislation protecting babies born alive after abortion. Raise your voice in your community. Educate others about this horrific practice. Support organizations that provide care and support for mothers and their children. This is not a political issue, it is a human rights issue. It is a matter of right and wrong. Together, we can be a voice for the voiceless. 
together, we can ensure that no child is left to die. Let us stand united in defense of life. Let us build a society where every child is cherished and protected. The time to act is now.